Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're looking at the Burley bike trailer, which can also be used as a stroller. And so the one that we're looking at today is the D-Lite X. It's one of their higher version. And uh, so before you get started with anything, please make sure that you fully read the owner operator manual. Don't take my word on anything in case I miss something or maybe misinterpret something, but we're going to look at this today. So we'll just look around a little bit here. What I really liked is how it had two individual seats. The, some of the other ones I saw was just a sling. Inside was really nice. It has nice little compartments for your kids to put stuff. And they loved putting the snacks in. That helped get them into the bike trailer and out on the road. Uh, so it's really nice that it has good framework and it bows out a little bit. So you have a lot of headroom in here. Uh, my four-year-old fit just fine with plenty of headroom and uh, I really like how it has a five-point harness and there's a lot of adjustability in this so at first it might seem like it's really tight but it, it can actually come out quite a bit and just hitting the yellow button pops right off uh, so a really nice seating uh, thing here and, and uh, I really like how it also has a nice rubber mat that fits down in here. This has already caught some treats <laughs> and the snacks that have fallen down. It helps keep uh, the mud and everything uh, out of the bottom of the trailer. You may have also noticed how the sides appear to be tinted windows, which is really good for the heat and supposed to also have some UV protection. It did also appear to have a good amount of reflection going around. I think even the sides were reflective. If not, that silver color lit up a little bit, but around the wheels, the fronts. Uh, so it looks pretty good for um, being at night. But of course, you want to put on other protective strobe lights and other reflective gear. On the front, it has a series of different attachments. This was a windshield one here, which is good. You know, sometimes your kids don't want to have a lot of wind in the face if you're going pretty quick. And then it has a rain one here that comes down. And this is good too if you're on a dusty trail or something like that. You can really help keep your kids from getting rocks thrown on them or anything like that. With the cover down, it has this nice clip that comes into place. So you just put it right in here and pop it in and tighten it down on each side. Uh, but this was really nice how it zips up. And so you just zip up each side and then you just roll it up and it has uh, the little attachment at the top for these to hold it in place. So if you're on a nice paved bike trail then it's good just to put this up so the kids have some air. And then again if you're on a dusty trail or it's raining or anything like that then it's really nice to have, keep them protected a little bit better. And then just have your windshield that moves around too. So uh, this was really nice the top part flips up as well. Uh, completely if you want to have them completely exposed at the front. It also does come apart down here at the bottom and see this is the attachment that I do like very simple hooks right in so I wish the other one was more like that. Uh, on the back it has some other zippers and this is good because you'll use this as well as a stroller so it's good to be able to see in here the kids from uh, behind here it has a nice screen one and that can also come up if you want. And this is where we also have some of the adjustability for the seats. Down inside, plenty of storage in the back for other things that you want to put in there and uh, not carry on your bike. And one of my favorite features on this is the parking brake. I really like how it's a lever that you can move with your foot, just move it over to the side. Uh, I've had other strollers where you're really pinching your foot in there to try to lock it on the wheel. So that's a very easy to use a lever that I'm really happy with for a parking brake. Uh, for the seats, they adjust super easy. You just pinch and then they will slide up and down. There are some arrows uh, halfway up, as you can see, in different positions. So you have to stop on those arrows for it to lock into place. And it doesn't recline a lot, but uh, it reclines enough for them to lean back a little bit. And then you can still get into your storage. So again, you just push on this and put it into one of the three positions. A very simple, fast adjustability. So overall, I think it's really good on the inside. I'm really happy with how it bows to each side and gives them plenty of room. And you may be buying this for a bike trailer, but it also works really well as a stroller. I really like how easy it was to fold that wheel up and down. And so on the bar, you'll notice too, you can put it on each side depending on what's best for your bike. 
and so we'll remove it here and show you but as an example I would not want it on this side because this is where I have all the gears for the bike so there's not really a lot of room on the bike where that would interfere this side is much better so I like how it gives you the option to put it on either side Next we're going to talk about the little tether here that mine was tucked down away so it is here if you can't find it. And so this tether is going to go on a ring here and it's just going to keep our locking pin from getting lost. And so that's what this does. We're going to put it on this side since this is the side that we're going to have our bar on. So by pushing the top black button here it releases the little ball at the top and that allows you to get it down in and as you let go it locks it into place. So we're going to go ahead and remove this pin because now we're going to convert it into the stroller. So what you would do is come over to this handle and you pull this out and then you're able to push the bar in or out and we're going to go ahead and pull this out just to show you this. It does come out and you can put it in the other side and if you look on here you're going to see the uh, picture of the bicycle for being the bike trailer and up here the person walking which would be for the stroller. So as we put this in we can put it uh, to the point that we want which is the stroller. So we're just going to pull that handle and slide this in until the holes line up. So uh, it's quite a bit shorter when it goes into the stroller position and here's our pin again with the little push button that deactivates those uh, nubs there that helps it go into place. So we'll go ahead and push the pin back down and lock it into place. Now it does come with a jogging tether here and they recommend using this at all times and so uh, what you do is you just uh, loop it around once and you'll see I'm putting it through the very small end so we're putting the big end through the small end and then we're just pulling it tight and so that way it's just kind of looping on itself so it's going through that smaller section there and now you can put your wrist through here and as you're jogging if you were to trip or fall or whatnot you can at least hang on to it so it doesn't roll away from you so we'll go ahead and take this for a quick walk. Again, I really like this uh, parking brake here on the foot. It came in real handy. Uh, so with the handle, it should be folded forward when you're towing it with a bike as an extra roll bar. But I really like how you pull this handle out and then uh, you put it into place and then lock it back in. So there's a lot of adjustability of where you're going to have that handle. And uh, then again, just flipping the brake off. Very simple and we're going to start going. Now one thing I will mention with this, I've had some other strollers that are jogging strollers and the front wheel, I really like how the other ones would actually lock into place. So this one uh, doesn't seem to lock um, so as you're jogging with it pretty quick it can sh uh, start to shimmy just a little bit and uh, it really wasn't too bad but I wish that the front wheel would have locked into place for going higher speeds because um, it does tend to kind of shimmy a little bit so it limits how fast you're going to go. So maybe it does have a lock and I've just missed it. <laughs> um, I didn't see one. But otherwise this was a very smooth stroller. I like it better than my other dual stroller that I have for the kids. And so it's uh, very smooth. They liked being in it and so I think it works really well as a stroller even though you're going to use it more as a bike trail. And so it does fold, you just pull up on the tabs, and then you push this bar forward. And so it does collapse to a decent size, uh, probably about the same as my other jogging stroller, the twin stroller that I have. So basically you just pull this back up and just watch your fingers on each of these. It uh, does snap into place pretty hard. And so that's how it kind of locks on each side. And uh, a little pressure to do that, but uh, it locks into place just fine. So whether you decide to use it as a stroller or a bike trailer, it does a really good job at both of those. It just may uh, be a little bit bulky to put inside the back of a car. So again, with this wheel, I really like you just pull down and uh, rotate it up and it locks into place. So we're going to put this back into the bike position by lining the hole back up. And then with our locking pin, again, we're just going to push the back of it to release those at the top, push it down in and make sure that that's securely locked into place. Now in this model it comes with suspension which was really cool and it is adjustable. I'm going to show you how to adjust it. We're going to take the wheel off even though you don't have to just so you can see how the wheel comes off too. But You just push this button and the uh, wheel slides right off. It's a quick release so that's actually really nice. So with this out of the way now you can see that all you have to do is twist this knob and so as you twist it it takes it down to different positions 
And so that's a, a really nice feature and you can do that with the wheel on. So to put the wheel on, we're gonna line it up and we're gonna just push in on this button. Make sure that it's locked. You don't want that coming off. Uh, but you can just reach in here behind the wheel uh, and change your adjustability. The top position is for the lightest loads and the bottom for the heaviest loads. So I would just make sure that you have it the same on both sides for stability. Um, but uh, you can see it does affect how the spring works and so that's uh, really cool uh, to have different adjustability for different ride. So we've just come over to the other side to make sure that it's the same on each side. Next we're going to put this attachment onto the bike and so it has a really nice quick release. It has a tether strap here too and so you'll notice it doesn't really allow you to take this off until the wheel is folded up. So they intend to make sure that the wheel is folded up so you don't forget. And so with that up and out of our way we can now take off our hitch pin. So on this pin you'll see there's a, a part right here at the bottom where we're going to put my thumb and so as you push down on that it will come off of the pin itself. So that's kind of a lock and I'll show you it in uh, some other clips here. But now this swings up and the pin comes right out. So this is the piece that we're going to now install onto our bike and once it's on the bike we don't have to keep installing it and reinstalling it. We simply will just use this uh, pin to attach it. So here's a look at this pin again. Uh, make sure it's not coming off to the side. You want it to go right in the middle so that it's locked into place correctly and it won't come off. So that's the way that it should look. So on our bike we're going to go ahead and pull our quick uh, connect here and we're going to spin this off. So uh, Burley actually has an aftermarket shaft here if you have a through axle like we do and so they recommend maybe looking at their piece that might be a little bit stronger as the axle but uh, all you're going to do is twist the cap off here on one side and you want to be careful because there is a spring that's behind this so as you take this cap off you'll see there's the cap here's the spring it's like a cone shaped spring so you don't want to lose that either and so it's going to go back on the same way and so what we're going to do is come around to the other side and we're gonna pull this uh, axle shaft all the way out. Okay, so there's a spring on the inside there too at the base as you can see. So again, this piece could be replaced with a different one by Burley if it doesn't work for you. But all we're gonna do is take our bracket and we're just gonna slide it right through here. So this is how it lines up and then we're gonna slide this back through the bike's axle shaft. Okay, so there is a little tube there that it's going into. Make sure that it goes all the way in. And then we're just going to go around on the other side and put uh, our other cap back on with the spring. So make sure that the axle here is in the right spot. See this pin? Make sure that it's sitting down in there correctly because with the spring and the gears and everything, it uh, can push against you a little bit. So make sure that it's in the right spot. We're going to go ahead and put our cone spring back on and follow that by the cap and screw this in. So want to make sure that everything's aligned well and then we're going to go ahead and go back over to the other side and tighten down our quick release. So now we'll come over to the other side make sure that the bracket is sitting level and this is a good time to bring in the bike trailer to get it nice and level and decide where you want that adjusted before we tighten it down anymore. And we're going to go ahead and on our quick release we're going to push this forward and it should have a good amount of tension on it to tightly push it up against there. So once that's in place we can now move in our bike trailer and just hook it up right into the bracket. And so we don't have to put this bracket on and off all the time now. Now we just get to bring this in and all we're going to do is slide this in here until these holes line up. And we're going to take our hitch pin here. Okay, we're going to take our a retainer clip part off of it again and so this is where you might have to go side to side just a little bit to get this pin to go through so uh, tilt the bike side to side or, or whatnot until that pin slides in now once it goes down in we want to make sure that the retainer clip is properly seated on the pin so as you see it needs to latch and uh, go over the pin on both sides so this is what it should look like and I'll give you a little closer up view here. So just make sure that as that pin comes down that uh, it's attached on both sides and sitting right in the middle there. That's what it should look like. 
uh, with tension it could go side to side you might think it's in so make sure that that's on next uh, we're going to show you this little uh, safety tether and what they recommend is coming around and wrapping it twice and then coming back and attaching it to the clip and so the clips right here now as you can see this still came out pretty loose and we don't want it really hanging or dragging so um, we're gonna go ahead and I think wrapping it a third time would probably be okay and once it's completely connected we want to move the bike all the way to the left and right to make sure it's not too tight so please make sure you consult your manufacturer and owner's manual and everything don't take my word for it as you can see on my bike we even have disc brakes and other things that are in the way that make this really tight so I might need to even come up with a better solution for this one because wrapping this through twice uh, it does still leave a little bit of uh, slack here and then attaching it to the uh, pin over here you can see it's still loose and I really don't want it rubbing on the brake or anything like that so you, just make sure whatever bike you're using that you figure this out to make sure it doesn't mess with your quick release have your wheel come off anything like that so you might need to go and uh, consult Burley or even your uh, whatever bike that you have uh, reach out to that company and, and ask them what they think is best for this don't take uh, my word I'm just showing you kind of what the operator manual is showing is to try to loop this twice uh, if I come forward here it's then I can't go twice it's not long enough so you may need to get some zip ties or something but again don't trust me on that one make sure you reach out to the company and figure it out uh, what the best thing is to do uh, this just shows you how easy it is now to detach this uh, all you got to do is release the pin and pull it out and then just remove the trailer from the bike and so it does go on and off really easy you don't have to take it uh, your axle off every time so it is a nice quick connect feature that they have where you just put it into place and uh, just put the pin right down through it and lock it in uh, again the hardest part about this is just figuring out what to do with that safety tether so uh, reach out to Burley or your bike manufacturer or, or whatnot and make sure that you do this the right way um, what I'm showing here is not uh, exactly right in my opinion so uh, anyway whenever we are uh, having this attached as a trailer you want to make sure that you fold this and have it go all the way forward and then lock it down that can act as an extra roll bar to protect if it were ever to roll over anything like that um, one thing I wasn't too happy with was uh, on this little a uh, flag stand here this was so hard I almost felt like I was gonna break it rotating it and I was, but uh, when it rotates up it has a bus a button that you push and so basically you come and you put the flag in and then you push that button and it allows the flag to go down and so now it's secure in here and then you would push that button to pull the flag out so anyway this is kinda of what it looks like here all attached uh, I've gone around and really enjoyed uh, towing this with my kids in it so far uh, you have reflectors here on the back and then a little spot here. This is for adding extra lights or reflectors or some other things that you might want to do. Uh, but anyway, so far I've really enjoyed this trailer. I think it's very high quality. Uh, I think that they did a really good job and thought about a lot of things that uh, bother kids and, you know, let's fix this, let's do that. So um, anyway, check the video description. I have links where you can find uh, a lot of this. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Check the playlist in the video description as well. I have other videos that are similar to this. Uh, thanks for watching.